Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of How to Punish. Today we'll be looking at Jade. Um, Jade is a weird character because when she first came out, I didn't think she was great. Because I didn't actually ever really play any online. Um, I'm recording this on my stream by the way, so if stream people, if you're confused why I'm doing YouTube intros, and YouTube people, if you're confused why I'm talking, I'm not talking to myself. Um, yeah, so Jade, when she first came out, I didn't think she was a great character, I, mostly because I didn't play against many of many Jades who could play them well, play the character well. Um, but as, especially since Combat League's come out. Uh, hey, Sugoi, Andale, how's your weekend, my dude? Yeah, especially as Combat League's come out. Um, you, I've fought tons and tons of Jades, and it's actually, I think, one of Garrus's not as favourable matchups because I think Garrus has a lot of favourable matchups but characters that tend to control aerial space uh, what well, I personally tend to struggle with so like Jade, Katana, Cabal you know because they, they negate Garrus's whole game plan which is just to stay in your face on the ground and just keep you next to him if you, you can't sand trap somebody if they're flying in the air the whole time Cetrion so yeah I fought a lot of Jade so I had, I've taken her into a la the lab a little bit and I figured some stuff out, but I thought it's about time that I do a proper how to punish video. And um Oh dude. Welcome welcome to rank life. <laughs> that is rank life in a nutshell. Oh you're in the nine game win streak, are you? And then you tilt straight off the bridge <laughs> back into like three ranks below where you were. Um yes, yeah, so I thought it's about time that I do a how to punish video. Because it's been a while. Um so yeah, to take a proper look at her. So well, let's just start from the beginning. Take her normal moves. Start as usual, looking at the normal moves. She's got quite a lot of, of normal moves. So you've got her standing one, seven frames, which is a high. Her back one, which is a mid, which is 15 frames. Her down one, which is also seven frames. So good, good, good standing and uh, down one, seven frames is decent. Standing 2 is a high, oh, which is also 7 frames, that's pretty fast for standing 2. So that's good, that's also a high though. Back to the wiggle stick, so this is 10 frames, it's a high, so you can duck it, but you'll find that from about this range, this is where they want to press this button. Because you can see it's super active, because, you know, I think it's 3 hits all the way through. Yeah, three hits. Jays tend to do it at the start. I mean, you start the round. They think if you're going to approach, they'll do it. And it, the tip of it will hit you. It's a semi-decent anti-air as well. And... Hold on. And you can special cancel into it as well. So you have to be careful. Because it is unsafe. Yeah, so it's minus 13. So if she's doing this in your face, you can punish it. If she's doing it from here, it might be, be a bit tougher. If she's doing it from here, you can definitely punish it into a full combo. But you have to be careful because she can special cancel it. So, yeah, be very careful if uh, if you think, oh, I'm going to punish it, I'm going to dash in. And then she usually it's into the, the low fireball, So, which is also super punishable. So if you get the read, then it's big punishes either way. But just be careful you, you don't try and push a button straight away if... You know, if, if you think they're likely to uh, to special cancel after it. So then you've got forward 2, which is an overhead, which is minus 19. This is also super unsafe, but it's also special cancelable. So similar sort of process. It's got good range. You have to block this high, though, because it's an overhead. So, I mean, look, look how far away you, you can get hit with this from. It is unsafe, but you can punish. Uh, you can punish this, and you can punish the spark afterwards. But just be wary, because... I mean, like I said, this is an overhead, so if you're duck blocking from about this far away, she can, you know, cut, finish the string or special cancel it into pressure or whatever it is, but yeah, this is super unsafe. So this is unsafe, and this is unsafe. So that's back two and forward two. You got down two, which is arguably one of the best down twos in the game. Nine frame start up, which is really fast. It is a high, so you can duck it, but you'll find that a lot of jades in the neutral... They'll do something, blah, 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 get in your face. Especially if you don't punish like an Adenia Spark or something up close. Or this. Like if you don't punish something like this up close, 
they probably think you're going to go for the grab after, so they tend to down too. So just be care basically be careful of this button because it's really tough. Um, and it's soul crushing when you get hit by it. And it's a really good anti air as well. I mean, look how high the stick goes. It literally goes off the screen. So, yeah, super good hurt box when dealing with anti airs too. So just be careful. Standing three. Is that a mid? Oh, it's a high. That's a weird, weird button. High, 11 frame start up, minus one on block. This pulse, sorry. Minus 15. Oh, so that's minus 15. So if she does that to you. I think that's special cancel one too, yeah, but that's minus 15, that's back one. Uh, sorry, I just realised I didn't have the, the the frame data on block up for back one. So just so you know, that's minus as well. Back three, sidekick, minus two. This is another one of her pokey buttons. She'll tend to do this after a jump in, because then she finishes off the string. This is one of her better stagger buttons. This works similarly to Scorpion's forward three. They're both mids. I think they're both 11 frames as well, and they both sort of pressure you. I mean, hers doesn't lead into a crushing blow, but, you know, she can just stagger it a little bit, make you scared to press buttons, and then when you do, she finishes off the string. So, yeah, be careful of back three. Minus two. Forward three is her, her only low. So Jade is one of the few characters where I would suggest blocking high 90% of the time. And I'll show you why it's only 90% of the time. This is one of the reasons why sometimes she goes low. She has a string off this. Um, but yeah, but this is safe. Minus four. This is, I think this is her only low starting move. This is this outside of like a sweep, which is a, obviously a true low. But yeah, so most of the time you block high, but this is one of her very few lows. So it's quite rare to see it, but yeah, just be wary of it. So just go through our last few normals. You got down three. Her down three is really good. Her down three. I mean it's safe. Minus eight frames, minus four. Her down three, I gotta do a down four as well, minus five. Her down three and down four work very similar to Erin Black pokes. So what I mean by that is she'll use her wiggle stick or whatever. She's at this sort of range, like I said, it might be difficult to punish wiggle stick from that far away or you know her back one or her forward two or whatever it is from this far away but then what they like to do if you try and if you try and approach like I said with Aaron Black like he'll do back two 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 cancel into scud shot they like to try and keep you out especially I mean look at the range of her down four it is it's, it's really far so her down three and her down four are both really strong low pokes so just again just be wary that after some strings or special moves if she's if she's this far away and she thinks you're going to approach and try and get a punish. She's going to try and poke you out. Or if you jump in and you're about this sort of range, she's going to use these buttons to keep you out. And you can't punish them. So they're both safe, so be careful. But yeah, I thought I'd just talk, talk about those at the same time because they work in a similar way. Uh, standing four is a high, plus three on block. So if she hits you with that, she's on advantage, so be careful. We can duck it. Again, very rare to see that in neutral. Um... Back four is a sweep, minus two. Forward four is this um, mid butter double hitting butterfly kick. And again, very rare to see that. I think it's a combo extender, but don't usually see that. And then, yeah, like I said, down four. Very good poke button. So, that's her normal moves. Let's look at her strings. She doesn't have many strings, and the strings that she does have. They only a couple tend to be used, but we'll go through them anyway. So this, so this is one two. That's minus seven. So that's unsafe if you've got a seven frame uh, jab or down one, standing one or down one. But this is one of the only reasons why you have to be careful blocking high against Jade. So she's, as far as I'm aware, she's got the most overheads in the game, um, in terms of like special moves or. Uh, not special moves, sorry, in terms of normals and strings, right? A lot of her stuff is overhead, and if you're not careful, you get clipped by it. So that's why I would suggest outside of forward three to block high, but then you have to be careful, because if she finishes off with this string, so this is one, two, and then it's one, two, four, which is minus six, so that's safe. If she does, well, I mean, if, you've got, if you're quick and you do a, a down one that's six frames, you can punish, but... 
This string has a crushing blow attached to it, which is if they block high. Oh, triggers if, oh I thought it was if you block high. Triggers if second hit with the combos. So this is why it's scary. So I always thought it's if you block high, but it's not. So it's if this, so if the two hits, so basically if you're high blocking and you don't block the low, then you're going to get crushing blow. It doesn't leave, lead into a combo, but you, oh wait, I think, oh does it not lead into a combo? I don't think it does. I could be wrong. Oh nope, it does lead into combo. I'm completely wrong. So yeah, it leads into a combo. <laughs> and then whatever it is jades tend to do. So yeah, it does lead into a combo. Hey, Rose Gold, how you doing, my dude? How's your weekend? Oh, that's true, yeah. This is good. I mean, I've never seen them use it on Oki, but someone in my chat just said that Ford 4 is good on Oki. Yeah, I guess so. As a as a mead seed to try and stuff people from doing wake up up twos. Um, so yeah, be careful. That's, that's, this is her only, like, once she does that, then you can just keep blocking high again, because off a normal hit, she doesn't get a combo extender off it, so. Yeah, you just have to worry about it the once, but that is the only other reason why you have to be careful about blocking high against Jade. Um... And that is safe as well if she blocks it. If she finishes the string off. Then you got 2-1. Which is high mid. Minus 2. 2-1-2. Two, two. Usually that's... I've, again, in neutral you don't really tend to see that. That's usually used as a combo ender in the corner. Forward 2-1, I've already showed you. Is minus 13. The thing is as well, with forward 2-1, is you can definitely... Flawless block. Well, you can flawless block both, but you can definitely flawless block... Uh, the second bit, he says. Yeah. So, don't let. If you think they're gonna do it, I mean, you can punish it anyway. Like you see, that's a punish. But I mean, this. I think this is actually the. Come on. Jeez Louise, this is the tu this is the tutorial flawless block as well. There you go, bloody hell. But so yeah, don't let it go away. If you think she's gonna do it and you want to flawless block it, you can. So there's a there's a big gap in that string there. Um, but it is unsafe anyway. So it's up to you. If you if you're gonna get chipped out maybe, or you don't want to special cancel afterwards or whatever it is, you know you do have that option. So be aware. Uh, cousin. <clears throat> oh yeah, hang on. So, yeah, that, that's forward 2-1. Then you've got back 3, back 3, 4, 3. Oh, no, sorry. So that's how the string, that's minus 7. So that's unsafe, right? But what you'll see they'll tend to do is, that, that's got a stagger in itself. And this is also special cancelable. So you have to be careful again with, with these strings. All of these strings can be special cancelled. So be careful, like these main ones, like this one. Actually, can that not be special cancelled? Man, I'm chatting so much shit in this video, I apologise. The first hit can. Oh yeah, it's because it's not the end of the string. Duh! Alright, so... The middle parts of all of these strings can be cancelled. So, uh... Yeah. Careful when they're doing this, because they might special cancel it into low, or the glaives, or something like that. But they can also finish it off. I have to really commit to the screen. So mid, which is actually plus five on block. So this works in a similar way to Liu Kang's forward four, three, up three, or you know, Johnny Cage string, or you know, any of these strings that leave her plus. If you try and press buttons after you get hit by that, there's a chance she's gonna do it again. And then hit you into it. Confirm into a combo, blah blah blah, etc. So be, be be very careful. If she finishes off the string, she's as I said, plus five. Be very careful about. I mean, you shouldn't press buttons after it, really, but just be very careful about what happens after that. But again, like with her forward two one, which I tend to. This is one of my more um, reliable 
this is one of my more reliable um, flawless blocks. You can flawless block. a gap there and you can get a full punish so like with Luke it's it, like I said it works very similar to, to Luke Kang's forward uh, forward four up forward four three string if he does the up four you can flawless block it and get a full punish you can jab him after it because it is I think that was minus seven as well so is it minus seven okay, yeah, minus seven. So it's almost exactly the same in terms of. Yeah, that's. I've, I've already mentioned. That. Hey, August, how's it going, my dude? Yeah, I was, I've already said that Rose Gold about how they like to do back two or back one into Adenia Sparks, because they're both super punishable on block. But so they, you know, they trick you into pressing a button and they special cancel that. Yeah, so back uh, three four, three four. You can flawless block the four full punish. Then you've got forward. This was the low combo I showed you before. This is minus five, that's safe. That's forward uh, three, four. And you've got forward three, four, three. Which finishes off the string. I mean, that's forward three, four, a special cancelable. I guess they just want to try and catch you out. It's minus six, so it's mostly safe. Um, but yeah, the main the main strings that she tends to use is the one two one two four for the crushing blow into the big combo if you're if you're not blocking. Uh, oh, that's back one two. That's minus nineteen. I still skipped over that one completely. That's super unsafe. So the back one's unsafe minus fifteen. Back one two is minus nineteen. So that's super unsafe. But yeah, you'll see mostly this one one two four, and then four two one. And then the back, these ones, the stagger pressure. So, yeah, be careful. I mean, like I said, the, these these two are unsafe. But this one, that's unsafe. That's safe. But this one, if she finishes it off, remember, is plus five. So just be very careful about pressing buttons afterwards. Yeah. So, yeah, true. <laughs> very true. Yeah, someone in my chat just said it's the... To the one two four string isn't called baited for nothing it's very true so yeah be careful of those you got a special moves I'm just gonna look at the uh, Emerald Defender spec because I've only ever fought one pool vote on it and I absolutely rinsed her so yeah, I don't think that that's her more widely used variation Uh, so we've got Razor Rang. So the Razor Rang is the thing that makes Jade so so much of a pain in the ass to deal with. So obviously projectile frame data is variable depending on where she's throwing it. So if she's, this is a high. She can amplify it. They're both highs. So you can duck both, right? So she can do it on the floor. But what they'll tend to do from um, pressure strings is... They'll do something like this. Hold on. Nope. Man, I really can't play Jade. What the heck? Oh. Alright. They'll do something like that. So, they're basically try trying to keep their turn. So if they do that, they're plus 7 on block. Which is super plus. However... I did see a video from our own nuclear Davy. I uh, see you've ascended now. Once once Pete once the understanding of the game oops, once the understanding of the game gets better, you figure out where to use his tools and why. I'm talking about noob cybot in chat. So if you do you can interrupt it. So if you're quick and you think they're going to amplify it, I mean, Garrus has a seven frame start up. 
but if you are quick and you do think they're going to amplify it, it does have a big gap in between the amplification process. So, like I said, Garrus is a 7-frame jab, so if, I don't know how big that gap is, but if you do have a 7-frame jab and she starts and you think that she is going to um, start pressuring you with the glaives, you can interrupt it between the amplify and the non-amplify. So, I mean, may, again, online might be different because you're lag, people are lagging and blah, blah, blah. It might make it a bit more difficult, but yeah, you see, I... I did it. I interrupted it. I've interrupted it every single time. So, this. So there you go. So be careful of that. So that it it is a high, so you can duck them. Even though it looked like there, that went straight through my face. That's really funny. I didn't know that. So they're both high, so you can duck them both. But if she does hit you with both, look plus seven. So just be very very careful that you can interrupt or, or you can flaunt spot the first one, but. You can't block flawless block the second one, so be careful about what you're doing there. But as I said, you can interrupt it. So that's her grounded glaives. However, the fun doesn't end there because she does have the air glaives. So this is what makes Jade a tough matchup for a lot of people. And obviously, because it's a Netherrealm game, there's no height restriction. So you can do it as close to the ground as possible, you can do it from jumping backwards, you can do it from jumping forwards, and she can amplify it as well. So it then works, as you can see, it works in a similar way. If she amplifies it, she's plus seven. So, yeah, you have to be very careful about it. And, obviously, because it's Jade, she has an up one as well. So the up one is like a... The up one, if she amplifies, it becomes a mid. But generally, generally, jades don't tend to throw up ones. They'll tend to just stay in the air and do these ones and be annoying. So you just have to approach quite cautiously. Wait until they use both. Because um, as you can see, you're super plus on the amplified one in the air as well. So, yeah, you just have to be careful when you're approaching and just try and um, block until you know you get close. I mean a lot of jades like to do this, land and then do the overhead because you're blocking low and then they'll push you away or they'll do um, do that into a shadow kick if they think that you're going to come close so oh yeah from if you're Garrus yeah definitely yeah if you're, so if you're Garrus forward one is a good option because it moves you forward um, so you can try and get if you've got like an advancing normal. If you think if they're in, if they're in the, the jades are quite high up in the air, and you think you can get underneath it. One thing that isn't as consistent, but I've tested it and it does work, is you can flawless block the first one and get a full punish, as you saw. You can't flawless block the second one. Yeah, you can't flawless block the second one, but if you're quick enough and you get the read, I did it the first time. See? If, you, if you're quick enough on the first one, you can flawless block it and up to full punish. So, yeah, if you get the read, you have to be careful though, because if you don't up to, I mean, obviously Garrus is up to is super fast, but if you don't have a fast up to um, counter, then you have to be careful because then the second hit will hit you, because obviously up twos aren't invincible. So, but if you've got a fast up two, that might be specific to Garrus to be fair, because his one's so fast. But if you do get the read on the glaives, you can flawless block the first one, or if you, they're only going to throw one, you can flawless block it, get an up two punish. Um, And then what other moves has she got? Deadly Butterfly. Yep, this is her. She'll do... If, maybe she'll, if she'll want to finish off an unsafe string. Because this makes it less safe. This, this is tougher to block online. It's minus 13. It is completely unsafe. But sometimes when they do it online, it's really difficult to punish. So they'll do something like that. And then they'll do a down 4 or a down 3 to try and stop you from maybe going for a throw or a 1-1 or just by using the lag against you basically 
But this is this is unsafe. So if they do this, it's quite fast, 13 frames, but if they do this on you, you can get a full punish every single time. That's the thing with Jade. Outside of her projectiles, she has a lot of very punishable moves and strings, but it's just knowing when and when you can't press a button against her. She's got the glow. So the way the glow works is, I mean, it's got quite a long startup, so you can hit her out of it. If, she, if you're close enough, but what she does is, after she glows, she becomes completely immune to projectiles. So, yeah, if you're a, a character like Scarlet or, I don't know, if you're Liu Kang or somebody like that and you want to try and, you know, somebody with a semi-decent fireball or like a Cetrion or something. I mean, I've seen Cetrion, I've seen Dragon punish it with with uh, the Vine Lash on command, so um, if you're a Cetrion player, you can do that, but once she's got this on, she becomes completely immune to projectiles, so that's when she can get in your face and start doing her pressure tours, or, you know, just be careful. But if you're Garrus, I'm 90% certain you can punish it with Sand Trap. Let me quickly swap. Yeah, you can punish it. So... I'm sure, I think she, when she does glow though, it still counts. So Sand Trap doesn't count as a projectile. So if you're Garrus and she does the, the glow and you think, oh, you know, I can't throw Sand Traps anymore to try and count the hero and stuff, then, um, yeah, dude, playing offline, playing offline is so ridiculous. Well, that's why I hope that guy keeps doing, the, the cyclical gaming guy keeps doing tournaments because... Playing offline is like taking off the weighted clothes. Goku taking off the weighted clothes. Mm. Hey, Papa Mash in my chat says, for the, the intents and purposes of like hit data, Sand Trap works as a command throw, so that's why it beats Glow. So if you're a Garrus player and they put on the Glow, you can counter it with, um, with Sand Trap. I'm just going by Garrus because that's, that's my main character, so... And then she's got the Adenian Spark. This is her only low hitting projectile. That, as I said before, they tend to cancel this in, off her unsafe stuff when they think, oh, they've conditioned you into you. Uh, you know, they've, maybe they've been finishing off the string or they, you know, they're about mid screen. They'll cancel into Adenian Spark to make. I mean, it's super unsafe. If they're doing it from close range, look, minus 23, it's super punishable, but it's basically just a way to catch you out. If you're pressing buttons after something that's usually punishable to trip you up. Or they'll throw razor rangs and then go for the low. So it's quite a strong special move to be honest with you. Any, any sort of low, like real life low projectile is strong. But she can't amplify it. But she, as I said, it's usually, usually you see it used off unsafe normals or strings to make, to trick you after you've pressed a button. To punish you for trying to punish them so just be careful of that and as I said it is a true low so you have to block it low um, and then she's got a few more special moves Did I tag them? Yeah. and then she so then she's got this which is her taunt so all taunts in the game work the same way as far as I'm aware um, you have taunts to counter everything apart from lows, jump ins, projectiles, and fatal blows. So, you, I mean, you do get projectile parries too, but this, this isn't a projectile parry, this is a special move parry. So, sometimes as well, they'll do this on a wake up if they think you're going to, again, because I'm Garrus, if they'll think I'm going to do an up two on wake up, they'll do that. They, I don't think they get a crushing blow off it like Liu Kang's does. Oh, they do. I've never seen. I didn't even know that existed. That's that is um, a very awkward crushing blow uh, requirement. Triggers if temptation has been amplified twice previously in the match. So if they've hit you with two in the match, the third one is amplified. I don't even know what an amplified one does. Let's 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 see. So I can show you what it what it can and can't punish. So, oops, no, oh, just did glow. 
So, standing one. Oh. Parried. If you try and down two, parried. If you try and standing three, parried. So you can just see any any mid attack down one. Oh. So what they tried to do is, like similar to Scarlet's one, is that they can also special cancel into the parry off strings. So if they think you're going to try and down one afterwards, they can try and catch you out with the parry. Um, it is rare, for, to, to be honest with you, it's rare to see Jades do this. Um, but as in not, it's not rare for them to do the, the parry, it, but it is rare for them to do the... Uh, to do it after a string, to cancel it into a string to try and catch you out, but it is an option that exists, so be careful. Also, it works against throws. So, but, as you can see, low, counter hit. Jump in, counters. I mean, we've said that's a command, right? that's a low, but, how long does it work to? Yeah, see, that's a projectile, so. So, yeah, jump ins, lows, Fatal blows and projectiles beat parries, but if you're if you are mashing and they catch you out, and she can amplify it just for a bit more damage, and she gets a knockdown too. So that's her, her parry. And then last but not least, she has the blaze kick. So this is a funny one because it's a high, so you can duck it. But much like Scorpion's teleport, she can amplify it on block. So be very careful, it's minus 21, it's super duper punishable, and I said as it's a high, so you can duck it, but the range is pretty far, so be careful. I mean, for me, usually if I do a sand trap and the jade is switched on, it will definitely punish the sand trap. You see that the range of it is crazy. And she can punish it, as you can see, as well, she, rather, she can amplify it really late on, on, on block. So, basically, for as long as she's glowing, she can amplify it. So, there you can't, but there you can. So, for as long as she's glowing green, she can amplify it. So, just be very careful. At minus 18 again. I think that the second bit's a high too. No, it's a mid. So, you can't duck the second hit. You can duck the first one. The second one's a mid. And, yeah, she can amplify it on block. So, just be very, very careful. Um, but they're both super duper minus. So, Again, trying to punish it online can lead to some problems, but offline you should get full punishes every single time. And this also does have a crushing blow attached to it too. So if she hits you with two shadow kicks in a row, she doesn't get a combo off this, but does a lot of damage. Uh, sorry, let me see. She knocks you full screen, and then she can just get her delay game started again, and blah blah blah. So, yeah. usually used as a combo in them as well, but see what I mean, you can cancel it if they think they're going to press a button afterwards, but so there you go, those are her special moves and the main other thing, usually I don't look at it, but the main thing that she has that catches me out, I would say 98% of the time is her Fatal Blow is an overhead, which is the only overhead Fatal Blow in the game. So, be very careful because she can combo it off this. This, that's, this is the only time that her low becomes really scary because she can combo it into her Fatal Blow. So, if she's on low life, you'll find that sometimes I'll do 4-2 into Fatal Blow. So, and obviously if you block it, she can still cancel it. So, You think, oh, I've blocked the overhead, and she fatal blows you, or in this way, you can't off this. Oh, that's interesting. But you can't, she can do it off that. So I've been hit by that a lot, when I'm like, I finally blocked the overhead, and then she does it again. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about, blocking high against Jade. Oh, she can't see her, she can do it off forward three. So yeah, just be very, very careful when she's got a fatal blow, and the range is very far as well. Because, like, like most of her moves, it uses the staff. So, I mean, so that was from about there. So let's take it from here. 
Yeah, that hits. So it's an overhead. So you have to block it high, right? Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind and you'll do, you'll do reasonably because I, I never keep that in mind. And I'm always like, because, you know, you, you, don't, you, you, you low block stuff, right? Most of the time. But that's one of the main things. Jade's projectile game doesn't get me really as much anymore because I fight so many. But the things that get me, trying to react to these overheads online. I mean, they, it, obviously it can be done. But I watched a six set actually of video games, Joe versus Katana Prime, and he reacted to every forward too. Um, so you can do it. It is, it, is, um, it is definitely doable. But yeah, you just have to worry about Jade's overheads because, again, as I said, especially offline, especially online, sorry, it just adds 100% to the fear factor. And as I said, if you're already blocking low, just be very, very careful. Um, so yeah, nobody uses Jaded, so we won't cover that right now. If it, ever, if it ever becomes a case where people do tend to use it, then we can revisit it. But yeah, there you go. That's how to punish Jade. Um, very strong zoning character with a lot of good overheads. Um, not great normals and specials, apart from they're good range, but they're, a lot of them are unsafe, as I've shown you. So don't really let her get away. If she does a shadow kick, as even though she can amplify it, it's super punishable. For two one is punishable. You know, back two the wiggle stick is punishable. The twirly stick is punishable. You know, the only thing that isn't punishable really on block is the glaives. But as we've shown, you can interrupt it if you're quick or if you've got seven frame normal at least. And if they're in the air, you can flawless block the glaive and try and get a flawless block punish off that. So. Yeah, just you just have to be patient. She wants to frustrate you. Be wary of the down two as well. Like I said, her down two range is immense. So be wary of her down pokes and her down two because they're all really strong. And they fit in with her character of like the, her design of like keep away, etc, etc. So yeah, that's Jade. Uh, thank you very much for watching everybody. Um, if you like this video, I'm going to do the whole cast eventually, so please check out the ones I've done. My Scorpion one's got over a thousand views now, which is great. Um, but I've got it for most of the annoying characters in the cast that people tend to struggle with. But there's going to be more, and when the DLC comes out, there's going to be I'm going to do all the DLC characters too whenever they come out. So yeah, hit the like and subscribe button, please. Come watch me on my stream, which is where I'm recording this now and talking to my lovely fans. Lol, lol, lol. Um, yeah, catch me on Twitter. And yeah, that's about it from now, and always remember to stay salty. Take care, everyone.